The blackout was a surprising move for a nation previously known for being open compared to other countries in the Mideast. I think what's unprecedented is the degree we've never seen such a connected country like Egypt be disconnected from the internet. Here's how it happened. In the United States, it's companies like Comcast or Time Warner that provide internet access. The Egyptian government told their internet service providers to shut down, causing Egypt to basically disappear off the internet map. Telecom Egypt went first just after midnight Friday morning, and within six minutes, the five internet providers covering about 93% of the country went down and have not come back. Only two other countries have ever shut off so completely, Nepal in 2005 and Myanmar in 2007. It would have to be something pretty dramatic for the Internet to be shut down here. But Congress is considering a bill to expand the president's authority. The legislation says that the president would have the power to uh, uh, declare a cyber emergency. And then the White House, along with the Department of Homeland Security, would have the power to uh, take control of certain key portions of the Internet. Holly Pickett lives in Cairo and says cutting off the online world may have backfired. When that happened and people realized that the internet had been shut off and the government had done this to them, this really angered people. But demonstrators also know that the internet can be a double-edged sword. Before the shutdown, this 26-page protest manual warned protesters not to circulate information on social networks for fear the government would be watching. All of that can be very easily exploited uh, by dictators of the secret police. Now, people are able to get around the Internet ban the old-fashioned way by using a landline to dial up a connect connection in another country, Harry. Daniel, I'm reading, though, that some cell phone service has been restored there. Yes, yeah, cell phones are back up, and actually Google is now offering a service that lets people turn a voicemail into an instant Twitter message. No Internet required, so some interesting ways of trying to get around it. All right, Daniel Seberg, thanks so much.